and girls. Happy Tuesday. <clears throat> I gave away the day of the week. That's okay. Um, I'm glad that you're here with us again today. And I hope that you've been doing some fun things with the recycling um, theme. I hope you've been doing some of your worksheets and some of the activities. And we'll do some of those together um, in these videos as well. Um, but let's start with our calendar, okay? Let's see. What month are we in? We are in the month of April, and we're in the year 2020. <clears throat> Can you guys count with me, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, <gasps> nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh my goodness. If I could just find number twenty-one. It's never easy for me, is it? Here it is. 21. That's what 21 looks like. It's a 2 and it's a 1. Let's find out what day of the week it is, okay? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Anybody remember what day of the week it is? Tuesday. And Tuesday starts with the letter T. T, T, Tuesday. Here we are. Very good. Check and check. Let's see. So today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. And this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be very glad in it. Um... Can you think of something to be glad about today? I think you can. I'm sure you can come up with something. What am I glad about today? I am just very glad to be home with my family, to be able to spend special time with them. Um, let's check out the weather. You want to? Do you have a window nearby? Do you got your binoculars ready? Let's sing our song. Ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? With the motions, is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy or windy? What's the temperature? What's the temperature? Is it hot or is it cold? Hmm, is it hot or is it cold out? Put those binoculars on, check outside the window. I hope it's not raining, but it might be. Um, okay. Now that we've done the weather, it's time for the question of the day. The question of the day is, can you name something you can recycle? Ooh, name something you can recycle. We're just gonna pretend I want you to think in your head right now, recycle, recycle. What do we recycle? And I'm going to say Emmett said, I can recy recycle a plastic um, yogurt container. Yes, you can recycle that. I'm suggested paper. Yes, you can recycle paper. Adoba couldn't think of anything. And Addison couldn't think of anything. Elena... She said, what about a can? Like a can that like SpaghettiOs comes, comes in. Yep, you can recycle cans. Paige, she couldn't think of anything either. Ellie couldn't think of anything. Abraham couldn't think of anything. Harper thought and she thought and she said, what about paper? I said, well, we already said paper. She said, well, what about like a newspaper? Yep. You can recycle a newspaper. Aiden, can you think of anything? Hmm, Aiden said, what about a water bottle? Yes, you can recycle a water bottle. An old, not like the ones you take to school, but maybe a, you know, a plastic one. And Logan, hmm, Logan, can you think of something you can recycle? He said, what about a cardboard box? Yes. You can recycle a cardboard box. Let's see how many people said yes and how many people said no. And remember, friends, this is, you maybe you did know something that you can recycle. And maybe some of the people in the yes really didn't know. But that's okay. 
Either way, it's fine. Let's count together how many, which has more, yes or no? The yes side has more, that's right. Let's count the yeses. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Magic marker, can you make a six? Up or down? Oh no, magic marker, that's an eight. That's an eight. You did so good yesterday. A six, it comes after five and it's before seven. Six, very good. Now, magic, this is magic marker, let's count our no sign. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. This is magic marker, do you know what a five looks like? I do know what a five looks like. I'm very confident that's a five. Did she get it right? She did. And six and five all together is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All of us are here today. All right, our letter of the day of the week is the letter R. And we're gonna pick another picture. What what is that? Give you a hint. I'm wearing one right below. It's a ring. Rrr. Ring, ring starts with the letter R. Let's sing our song together. Um, R is for ring, r, r, ring. R is for ring, r, r, ring. Switch it up sometimes on the two tunes, don't we? Depending on which one fits a little better. All right, now who's excited? Who's excited? to find out who was calling Samuel's name. I told you, I promised you I'd give you this card today. This is the picture. And based on the people I told you about yesterday, there's two names. One was Samuel and one was Eli. Which one do you think Eli is and which one do you think Samuel is? Yes, Samuel is this young man right here and Eli is this old man sleeping saying, Stop waking me up, I'm not calling you. Let's read this card together and find out who was calling Samuel. Do you have a guess? Let me hear your guesses. Hmm, let's see if you were right. Samuel was a special boy. He grew up in the Lord's house and he helped the old priest Eli and Eli taught Samuel about God. And one night, when Eli was sleeping, the Lord called out to Samuel. Samuel thought it was Eli calling, so he got up and he ran to Eli, who was sleeping, and Samuel said, here I am, you called me. Eli said, go back to sleep, Samuel. I didn't call you. So Samuel went back to bed. Did you guys hear who called Samuel? I gave you the answer, were you listening? Let's read it again. See if you catch on it this time. The Lord called Samuel the second time. Samuel returned to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. But Eli hadn't called Samuel. And Eli kindly told him to go back to bed again. Did you hear it that time? Who called Samuel? I'm going to read it again. He's going to call one more time. The Lord called Samuel a third time. Samuel went to Eli again, and this time Samuel said, here I am, you did call me. But now Eli had realized that it was God who had been calling Samuel. Who, who was calling Samuel? God, God was calling Samuel. He could hear God's actual voice. That's so crazy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie back down. If the Lord calls you again, say, speak, Lord, because I am listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his bed. And after a while, the Lord called to Samuel as he had done before. And this time, Samuel answered, speak, Lord, because I am listening. Then the Lord talked to Samuel and Samuel listened. This was the first of many times the Lord spoke to Samuel. Samuel now knew God's voice. So Samuel grew and the Lord was with him. Samuel learned to listen to the Lord 
And for the rest of Samuel's life, the Lord used him as a prophet who was someone who shared God's word with people. God called Samuel and he listened and obeyed God's words. Now, it's very unlikely that we'll be able to ever hear his actual voice in our lifetime. But there is a way that we can hear God's words. And that's through the Bible, right? When we talk about hiding our, his words in our heart, that's what it means is to know what God is saying to us without reading the Bible because we have it memorized and hidden in our hearts. And we know what God is saying when we have choices. For example, the Bible says, encourage one another and build each other up. Now, if you were playing a game and you were losing and you said unkind words to your to the person who was winning, is that following God's words? No. You want to be encouraging to everyone, even if you're losing, even if someone else is winning. We want to encourage one another and say kind things like, good job, you're doing great. I love how great you're doing at that. Wow, you are really talented. Those are all encouraging words. Those are words that God wants us to use. And we know that because we've hidden his word in our hearts. Let's pray and ask God to help us learn more about his words so that we can follow and listen to his directions. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for this story in the Bible. Thank you for calling out to Samuel and um, allowing Samuel to be a good um, role model for us and how to listen to you and obey your words. Help us this week to listen for your words and your directions. Even though we might not hear your voice, God, we know in our hearts the right and the wrong thing to do. Help us choose the right thing. In your name we pray. Amen. See you guys tomorrow.